In this video, we'll see that uh, how to uh, use MATLAB for uh, uh, simulation of a basic antenna. In this video, we'll just see a basic uh, antenna simulation. So, what I have done here is I have MATLAB uh, 2021A version. So, I have just opened it. So, if you have the same version or the latter uh, version also, you can go to apps here. It is available in the other versions as well. And in the apps, you can directly go to the antenna designer here. So you can see there are two things here. One is antenna array designer, one is antenna designer. So you go to the antenna designer and click on that. So once you click on antenna designer, then one window will open, which is specifically dedicated for uh, designing the antennas in micro in uh, MATLAB. So basically this is not very advanced version, but I can say that this is a sufficient version that you can design your basic antennas for basic studies. Uh, okay, so now you can see this antenna designer has opened. So here what we have to do, just go to click new. Okay, so if you click on new, then it will create uh, one window for you with the basic antenna types and according to your need, you have to design the antenna here. Okay, so see here, by default, the first one is a dipole antenna. So here you can see what type of radiation you want. If you want directional radiation, then if you choose directional radiation, then you can see that whichever antenna is applicable for that for direct uh, directional and radiation, it will be activating that antennas only, you cannot select other. Right? As we know, dipole is not a directional antenna. So if I go to dipole, I am not able to select this. So for this video, let us go to the whatever default value is there or else omnidirectional. So I just select dipole antenna here. After uh, selecting dipole antenna, so backing structure is rectangular or circular. So, if a backing structure means if I select a rectangular, then what happens? You see here. So, backing structure means a ground or a reflective structure uh, will be created there so that the radiation will be good enough. But right now, we don't need this. So, we're just taking a simple dipole here. And uh, with your mouse, you can rotate this as well. Okay. So now here it is asking what is the design frequency. Let me take uh, the violin frequency that is uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So here you can see you can change this uh, frequency unit as well. So if I choose gigahertz and here I can write 2.4. Okay. So after writing 2.4, you just need to click on accept. So if you click on accept, so what it will do, it will calculate all the uh, parameters required. For example, what will be the length in meters? Okay. So that is 0. 058709 meters uh, so it will do all the calculation on its own and then the width which means this uh, width of the uh, wire that has been taken so width will be 0 0.001 meter and offset feed means what to give the feed feed is basically at the center and center is equals to 0 here so offset is 0 now tilt angle is 90 degree and the tilt axis is 0 and so this is just for designing okay Tilt angle 90 degree means just uh, 90 degree uh, it is being designed. So that's not an uh, thing to uh, know, but so important factor is this two length and width. So this will decide the operating frequency. Next, you can see what type of conductor is used here. It is being decided automatically. PEC stands for perfect electrical conductor. Uh, other than other conductors are also there. Uh, according to your requirement, you can choose anyone, but ideally for simulation, uh, PEC is taken. Net conductivity for perfect electrical conductor is taken infinite. If I change this to copper, so the conductivity changes here. So it is by default the library well, library is set like that. So we'll take PEs in this case. And then the dipole load lumped element. So nothing in this case is required. So whatever by default, we'll just take it. So we are just trying to know how to use this metal for an antenna, right? So after all this calculation has been done, then what to see? We need to see the result. So first of all, we'll see the S parameter. So click on this S, S parameter available uh, at the above or the top of this uh, window. So it will show you the S parameter. You can see at 2.4 gigahertz, the value of S parameter is below minus 10 degree, sorry, 10 dB. And uh, one more thing, you see the frequency range written over here in the uh, top left corner. So here you can see it starts from 2160, now that means 2.16 gigahertz. And it goes till 2.60 uh, uh, megahertz, means 2.64 gigahertz. So you can see the frequency range here. 
at the below in this graph you can see the frequency is 2.15 to 2.65 so if you want this graph to be more fine so what you can do you can reduce the step size let me take the step size of 15 then press enter so it will fine tune that that means the curve will look more fine so if i make it let's say 10 then the curve will look more fine but the point here is it will take more time to give you the result okay now what it will do it will calculate the s parameter value at 2160 then plus 10 that means 2170 so like this it will go on fine and the certain center frequency it has taken as 2.4 that's because we have given that uh, at the initial so next if i want to see the impedance so if you click on the impedance then the impedance will be shown here you can say 2.4 gigahertz the uh, resistance value should be nearly equals to 50 so it is around 40 65 65 right so 65 is there so that is acceptable here next is if we see the 3d pattern 3d radiation pattern if you want to see you can just click on here and uh, then you can see the 3d radiation pattern it will show you uh, so here you can see it's a omni as you know dipole antenna is a omnidirectional antenna so here it is showing 3d directional pattern where it is radiating in almost all directions only uh, the end uh, end directions are not being uh, radiation pattern strength is not there so you can see here the antenna is there if i rotate the radiation pattern antenna is also rotating so that you can understand that how exactly the radiation is there now if i keep like this you can see the antenna part here below uh, that uh, uh, it is in the vertical so if it is vertical then it is um, the antenna is radiating vertically outward okay so now this is uh, uh, your radiation pattern similarly you can check your current distribution in the antenna also so whenever you design any antenna which is uh, okay so whenever uh, uh, micro strip antenna and all so this is important in this case in dipole antenna current uh, a pattern is not required then you can as a, uh, this radiation pattern in 2d also you can get so this is so one is azimuthal plane and one is elevation plane so in the elevation and generally we take for the elevation plane what is the radiation pattern so you can see this is the radiation pattern here and if you see the azimuthal plane also the radiation pattern is seen generally we take the elevation plane okay uh, sorry generally we take the azimuth plane for the um, radiation pattern so next the optimize option is there so if you click on optimize then let's say you have just designed it at a, a initial frequency of 2.4 and you want to design that uh, in some other frequency okay so lower band uh, means you can give here the length so this is the length calculated by the matlab so you can give a maximum length and uh, lower length and then uh, you can optimize this means for which uh, value it is giving you the good value so you can do that also so right now i am not doing that so uh, it can be done later so i'll just uh, cancel it optimizer so if i cancel the optimizer now it comes back to the previous window where uh, uh, we have designed the antenna and then some seen the s parameters in the 3d pattern and uh, all those values okay so here you can see all these things are there uh, and uh, next is if you click on export okay so in export you can do one thing export as a script if you select here so export as a script it will export your antenna to a matlab script right so here you can see all the scripts are written so this is a frequency i have given then antenna object tilt so all these things are given here so with the script also you can design the antenna and if you want to do any changes in the antenna design you can do the changes here so here you can see the frequency range here you can see the plot frequency and also you can change the design frequency here as well from where the length and uh, the width will be calculated okay so if you run this program the same result will come as we have uh, seen here so that's it from this video this is how a simple uh, dipole antenna you can just design and visualize in your uh, matlab so rather than using cst and all which is very costly and time taking uh, so this is a simple one so if some preliminary research you want to do or you want to explain to any other person that how a dipole antenna looks like and how it radiates then it's a very good thing to do in the next video we'll be discussing some other antennas as well so thank you